What's happening, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYU as Stan right now. Tomorrow is Super Saturday in the world of BYU sports. So what does that make today? Just a really good Friday? I guess, because we're reviewing hoops, previewing hoops, and previewing football. So actually, yeah, a really good Friday. Let's go. So much to get into, but first let's start by rewinding to BYU men's hoops versus Boise State. Our Cougs fell 74 to 70 in the final seconds of the game. I don't know what BYU is trying to do to me with all these final second games, but um, it's not good for my health. This was a hard fought game though. Coach Pope said this was going to be one of the toughest non-conference games on the schedule and he was right. So tough loss, but good on our boys for fighting till the end. Hopefully things are better tomorrow night because it's BYU versus Utah at home. I need this rivalry game. So guys, beat Utah. Beat Utah, you got it. On to women's hoops. The girls took down Montana State 72-58. How about Shaylee Gonzalez though? She dropped 18 points on the day. Four of those points came in five seconds. And that made SportsCenter top 10 at number Four. Um, rightfully so, by the way. Speaking of revenge, BYU football takes on San Diego State at home on senior night tomorrow. And we need some revenge after our 13-3 loss to them last season. But beyond that, our guys are also vengeful after last week's game. So San Diego State better be ready. This is the last regular season game currently scheduled for both teams. The Aztecs are four and three and are ranked first nationally in fewest yards allowed per play. They're also ranked third in total defense, fourth in third down conversion defense, and fifth in tackles for loss. One Aztec we've got to look out for is Darren Hall. He is the only player in the nation that has intercepted a pass in each game of the last three weeks. We can't forget about SDSU special teams. Jordan Bird had a 93-yard kick return, and B.J. Busby had a 90-yard punt return both last week against Colorado State. As for our offense, unfortunately, wide receiver Gunnar Romney and offensive lineman Clark Barrington both left last week's game versus Coastal Carolina due to injury. Offensive coordinator Jeff Grimes said there's a chance that both of them play tomorrow. He's staying hopeful, though he also said that the medical staff might say otherwise. We'll see. Luckily, we've still got wide receiver Dax Milne, who just hit 1,000 yards on the season last weekend. Plus, we've got our QB1, Zach Wilson. We all know he's going to go out and do what he does best. I mean, come on. This season, he's completed 195 passes for 2,964 yards, and he has 27 touchdowns. With stats like that and a lot of good NFL projections, it's no wonder there's a lot of talk about whether or not Zach will return for another season next year. He did address this. Right now, my plan is to come back next year. You know, really, I haven't thought about it because uh, all my focus is with these boys, and um, I really think when the time comes, I'll know what to do. Okay. Yes. That's the politically correct answer. So, uh, nice. But... He's focusing on the team right now, and that's the right thing to do. He did say he's going to 100% ride it out with the boys and play in the bowl game. I respect that. We'll just take things one day at a time to see what his future might be. Bring in the eyeball emoji. This is fitting. Yeah. Another right move for BYU football is the blackout jerseys. Associate Athletic Director Chad Lewis said this will be the last time that the blackout unis take the field so hopefully we can send them off with a dub these uniforms and helmets like these will be auctioned off in the BYU all-in auction these uniforms will be replaced down the road by an alternate uniform that Nike will create I just really want to put the helmet on I have no reason for wearing it take it off let's keep going while we don't know what the new unis will be like, we do know that they could pull from some that Cougar Nation has put out there. Poly U 
Rooney's. Okay, I like those. My vote doesn't count, but just for the record, it's the Polynesian Unis for me. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. I will see you tomorrow for a super Saturday. Men's basketball, BYU football, oh, and BYU football top 100 plays airing on BYU TV. You know that's going to be good. Bye, guys.